Hello, this is David Setford, Executive Director of Tacoma Art Museum. We hope you enjoy this special presentation. When the New Deal jobs programs were first launched, the idea was simply to get people back to work in some form as quickly as possible. So they were employed on whatever projects the government had going most of them public works. But the administrators figured out pretty quickly that they actually had millions of people out of work with different skills and different training, and that they should begin to use them as well and find them opportunities for work. So they began expanding the jobs programs, and this is when the arts were added to that list of careers that needed to be supported. Now you find on the art projects the kind of work you would expect. Painters are making paintings, sculptors are making sculptures, but there's also some unexpected discoveries of types of work that might not have been traditionally considered. Uh, one of the fun discoveries here in the Northwest, out of Washington State, is the work of this artist, Theodora Harrison. She was born in Ireland and had trained in England as a professional illuminator. She had studied the early medieval manuscripts and the beautiful tiny paintings and special fancy initials that are in those old manuscripts, and also done heraldry work for the royal family in England. And so she had come with this very particular skill and was hired by the Seattle Art Museum to create a series of reproductions of famous pages from well-known medieval manuscripts that they could use. Another fun discovery was the work of Agatha Kirsch, who had a lot of different talents, but she had a particular skill in scientific illustration. So the University of Washington hired her to create images in pencil of these very tiny organisms that live in the ocean called radiolarians. And she created these images by looking through the lens of a microscope and then recreating what she saw with a pencil on paper. There are also artists who were not actually considering themselves artists when they were added to the projects. They had other sorts of backgrounds. And the carver Valentine Weiss is one of those examples. He was a woodworker. He was used to mostly making furniture or doing architectural styles of wood decoration. But they hired him to make artworks on the project, and he became quite skilled, as you can see from this work called Pegasus. In this work, he took a single big chunk of white oak from Oregon and carved this incredible, almost completely three-dimensional image. Thank you for watching this special presentation from Tacoma Art Museum. To learn more about the museum or learn about our membership program, please check our website.